If you ever have fear, ever, ever have fear, it's for one reason. It indicates you don't know something. That's it. Fear indicates that you don't know. The worst thing that a closer can have is fear. You can have no fear as a closer. No fear. I'm explaining to you how to get rid of all this fear today. And this, these are some slides that are going into the seminar this week. So for the three people that are watching, you're going to get a little bit of an advance. It'll give you an extra week heads up. Most salespeople experience more fear than their customers do. That is not a good sign. Success favors the prepared. I want you to write this down. Most salespeople experience more fear than their customers do. That is not a good sign. Now listen, I didn't say that you did. I said most of them do. Listen, most people are also going to have the same life next year that they had this year. Don't be most people. Most is a bad word. Guys, there's a bad word. You know what the cuss word is in my, in my company? Most. You say most, that's a cuss word. Most people experience more fear. Why? Why do they experience more fear than their customers? Well, number one, think about this. There's a pencil. It's going down on the desk, right? Your manager gave it to you. Your customers told you they weren't paying more than 30 grand. They weren't going to pay the addendum. And then they obviously, you know, weren't going to go over $500 a month, but the payment's 780. As you got the piece of paper in your hand, there's two things going on. There's how the salesperson feels, and then there's how the customer feels. How does a customer feel? Well, I'm going to tell you how they feel. They're a little bit nervous. They want to know what the hell you're going to come back with. Have you been treating them great the whole time just as a front to only bring in some numbers to hopefully pull them up? That's what they think. I'm just telling you, they're a little bit nervous. They may tell you they're not. It's called a poker face. They're nervous. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Right now is the time to take yourself to a whole new level. Listen, the market is going to demand you to get more skill right now than you've ever needed to have. And if you do, not only will you become great, but you're going to make more money than you ever imagined. I would love to talk to you. Tell me what you need help with. Text me right now. If you see on the screen, my cell phone number is 918 210 0254. Let me say that again. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text message. Tell me what you need help with. I'll reach out and call you. Let's take you to the next level. Let's get back to the video. What will you do? Will you be able to know your job so well? You've studied the art of everything in your industry, everything in your business, and you've studied selling and closing transactions like the back of your hand. You can envision the negotiation in advance. You know exactly how you're going to close them. You know exactly how you're going to calm them down. You know it. Or do you feel a little bit of that fear that they feel? Okay, guys, this is all natural. Understand as I'm talking to you today, I want you to understand one thing. I have been in every single one of your shoes. This is the truest freaking statement that's out there. Most salespeople experience more fear, more than their customers, and that is not a good sign. That is a sign that you haven't trained enough, you haven't practiced enough. I want you to watch this as we keep going. Success favors the prepared. All right, success should be dependable, okay? Let me explain what I mean. This is very good for you guys to write down. Do you guys want dependable success? Yes, yes, of course you do. I go home, my wife's like, hey, we want to go buy this, we want to buy that. I need to be able to tell her, baby, we can buy all that. We're good, I got it. I, I mean, our success is dependable, okay? But most salespeople selling success, their success that they've had selling, it's the scary kind. It's mysterious and it's left for hope and chances. Guys, I want you to just think about this. Have you ever seen a salesperson having a good month and they're doing great, life's good, making good money? They're so happy. I know, put yourself in your best month. Guys, right now, put yourself in your best month you've ever had. Making big money, jacked up, fired up. And also, I want you to put yourself in your worst month. The one that like you didn't understand why you were having a bad month. You didn't understand why you couldn't turn it around, why you couldn't get a good deal, why you couldn't understand it. That's the mysterious and left your hope and chances type of selling success, okay? I, I had to experience this for a little bit of time to understand that this was not going to work for me. I needed dependable success. Now, most people, when they hear that dependable success, they think, oh, well, I guess I gotta go get a salary job. No. You gotta learn how to close. That's your problem. Let's go back to getting people to agree with you.
Can you? Can you get everyone to agree with you? If you can't, you got a problem. My goal and my destiny is to teach you to fix it. No control, no plan, no strategy, no training. Guys, I studied for two hours a day. Two hours a day when I, when I sold. Two hours a day I trained. What's your excuse? You're too busy? You got the same 24 hours as me. Why? Why are you so busy? What's distracting you? I gotta work. You gotta work, but you're, but you're broke and you're not breaking records, so you're at work, not working. What do you mean? I don't understand. Listen guys, you need to understand this. You need to up your training game. You have to up your training game. If you wanna become the best closer in the world, you have to up your training game. Number two, what's your strategy? Look, I know my strategy every day I come in. I've got it built out to the T. I know my plan. My plan is not I come in today and I hope I can catch a phone pop or a fresh up. I hope that I can find a customer. That ain't a plan. That's the scary kind of selling success. Have control over your life. You know what that means? That means I don't care what happens. I got control. I don't care what happens. I'm going to maintain control. I'm not gonna take my hand off the handle, not control this life and say, ah, oh, I just hope it goes in the right direction. No, control it. You own it, it's yours.